Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. So we are here today because I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite recipe, well my recipe for my favorite sangria. Um, this recipe is enough for half a gallon. Um, I'm doing this much because I fill up little mason jars to give to my friends and family. When I say give, you know what I'm trying to say, you know, the hustle is real out here. So, um, yeah, I will definitely be putting the ingredients and the measurements for personal size. So if you want just, if you want to make yourself just a glass, but why would you make yourself a glass when you can make yourself a whole gallon? I don't know, to each their own. Um, yeah, if you guys are ready to get lit with me and have a little summer sangria then please keep watching okay so first we're going to start off by making a sour mix you can buy sour mix at the store but i prefer to just make it at home it's pretty easy and it's not very time consuming so if you can make it at home why spend your money when you can customize it so the way you make sour mix is you're just going to put equal parts of everything i like to put one cup of lime juice, one cup of lemon juice, one cup of sugar, and one cup of water. So, so you're gonna do this in a pan because you're gonna want the sugar to melt. Again, I use this really huge pan because I make enough for a half a gallon. Half a gallon usually gives me about four 32 ounce mason jars. Make four, four or five, one or the other. So I just put my lime juice. I'm going to put my lemon juice now. Now you're going to sit here. I probably should have gotten prepared before starting the video, right? Next time. So now you're gonna sit here and just stir the pot until the sugar is melted. You wanna make sure that you're continuously stirring the pot because you don't want the sugar to get hard or um, turn more into like a syrup. So yeah, we're just gonna keep stirring. Okay, so now that your sour mix is ready, again, I'm gonna keep this in here just because it's easier for me to make a large quantity, is that how you say it? A large amount in this big bowl. Um, so next, I'm going to take my sweet red, whoa. I'm gonna take my sweet red wine, sweet red wine. I use Riscato. Easy to find, pretty affordable. I think it's like ten dollars, depending on how much they sell it for at your liquor store. And I am going to take the whole thing, honey. We don't measure here. We just put the whole thing. Okay. Next, we're going to be adding Stoli Raz. This is vodka. Um, for measurement purposes, I put the whole pint. So, so far we have the red wine, the slowly Raz. Next, we will be adding some Bacardi lemon. And again, for measurement purposes, I like to put a whole pint, which is the same size as this. Uh, I don't have a little one for the Bacardi lemon, so I'm just going to use the same bottle to show you guys. So yeah, now we're going to be adding a pint of Bacardi lemon. Okay. 
And next, we will be adding our peach schnapps. So for this, I have the liter bottle. Um, for this, you're just gonna wanna add a little bit less than what you did for wine. So, okay, so we've added a bottle of sweet red wine. We've added a pint of strawberry ras. We've also added a pint of Bacardi Limon. If you don't know the measurements for pints and stuff, I will be adding the ingredients and measurements down below. Um, we have our sour mix in here, which equals up to three cups. And then we've added our peach schnapps, which ended up being a little bit less than, a little bit more than half of the bottle, of the liter bottle. And then for our final step, we will be adding our lime, lemon lime flavored soda, which in this case I have Sprite. Um, usually I get the two liter and just use half of it, but I figured it'd be easier in demonstra for demonstration purposes. I got this 1.25 liter bottle and I'm just going to add the whole thing. Now, as you guys can see, I have not used any juice or anything, which makes the sangria last a little longer. Once you add the juice, it kind of just cuts down the time that it'll last by half. I don't know, I don't know how much, don't, don't quote me on that. But um, I only have, for the most part, alcohol in it. So the lifespan of the sangria is pretty long. You can leave it in your fridge. What I'm going to do is now transfer it over to my half gallon container which is right here i showed this to you guys on my amazon favorites video so that ended up being the perfect amount it filled it up completely all right, sorry guys, I had to take a little break because my food arrived. But anyways, um, the last step that we did was pour all of the ingredient mix into this gallon, half gallon canister glass thingy. And next, we'll, we'll, the next we will just be transferring it over into my mason jars and I'm gonna do that off camera just cause you know kind of boring so with that oh my god my hair guys this is the finished product I will be enjoying my little glass of sangria um feel free to add some fruits in to your liking um these are the jars that I've been making they're pretty big 32 ounces and like I said the mix that I made is half a gallon approximately so it fills up about four maybe five of these and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video quick and easy little tutorial on how i make my favorite sangria recipe and don't forget down below in the comment section i did put down the ingredients and measurements for single serving sizes i hope you guys enjoyed this video love you guys lots and enjoy